This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with what does Alt F4 do? And I have three specific highlights for you. First off, Alt F4 is the Windows level shortcut to close a program or close an application. So it's the same as grabbing your mouse and clicking the close icon in the upper right hand corner. But it gets more complicated with that because the second highlight, there is a close program, Alt F4 and close document shortcuts. And these are often confused specifically when you have lots of different documents open. If you have lots of files open, these shortcuts will appear to do the same thing, but they're actually doing something quite different. I'll give you a couple examples of that in just just a second. And finally, the third highlight, you can use Alt F4 to launch the shut down Windows dialog box. So the shut down Windows dialog box is where we can quickly shut down our computer, we can switch users, we can reset, we can do all sorts of things. The trick to this shortcut is you have to be active on your desktop first to make it work. And I have a keyboard shortcut to help you out that I'll show you in just a second. But first off, if you want to support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. So let's first talk about Alt F4 as the close program or close application shortcut. So here's an example where I have Word, Excel, and PowerPoint open. You can see them open on my taskbar because they have a little line underneath them and these little windows pop up. So let's use Alt F4 to close them. Hitting Alt F4, Word will tell me or ask me if I wanna save any changes I've made to my file. I'm gonna select no, don't save and you're gonna see that Word automatically or fully closes out. It's no longer open. I can click to reopen the program, but Alt F4 is closing out of the document and the program itself. Now here in Excel, I'll do the same thing. So I have Excel open. It's the same as clicking the close button. Alt F4 is gonna close out of Excel. Again, you don't have to worry about losing any unsaved work. It's gonna ask you if you wanna save them. In this case, I'm gonna say don't save. And finally, here in PowerPoint, you're gonna see a little bit different because I have two PowerPoint presentations open. If I Alt tab back to my other one, hitting Alt F4 in this case, again, is gonna ask me if I wanna save my work. I'm gonna select no. It's gonna to try to close the program but because I have another PowerPoint deck open. It does not fully close out of PowerPoint yet. And you'll see how this works better when we compare and contrast the different close shortcuts next. Let's look at how Alt F4 is different than and look at why it's often confused with Control W and Control F4. And the best way to sort this out, I think, is with an internet browser. So if I have an internet browser with four tabs open, Microsoft, Google, Apple, and Tesla, Control W or Alt F4 is gonna close out of a single tab one at a time. So whatever tab I'm currently on, it will just close out of it. Now, if you do close out of a tab that you wanna reopen, Control Shift T is your keyboard shortcut to reopen a recently closed or the last closed tab. But this is completely different than Alt F4, which is the same as simply closing out of the browser. So closing out of however many tabs you have and your browser at the same time. So let's take a look. So here I have those four internet tabs open. I'll just control tab. So I have Google, Apple, Tesla, and control tab back to Microsoft. If I hit control W on my keyboard, control W is gonna close out the Microsoft tab. Control W will close out of the Google tab. Control shift T, will reopen Google, Control Shift T a second time, will reopen Microsoft. So in this case, Control W or Control F4 is simply closing out of the tabs. I'll Control Shift T once, two, three times. Whereas if I hit Alt F4, Alt F4 is gonna immediately close out of my internet browser. I can reopen it and hit Control Shift T to reopen my last browsing session, but Control W is very different because it's gonna close the tabs where Alt F4 is gonna close the entire browser itself. Now, another place where these shortcuts are often mistaken or confused is when working with multiple sets of documents from the same program, just like I had with PowerPoint earlier. So if I have a number of Excel files open, both sets of shortcuts will appear to do the same thing, closing out of my files, except that as I get to that last Excel document, in this case, Control W and Control F4 will simply close out of the document itself while leaving the shell of Microsoft Excel open, whereas Alt F4 is always gonna be gunning to close the program. So closing the file and closing the program. So let's take a look. So here I have four different Excel documents open. So in this case, it's not gonna matter which keyboard shortcut I use. I can use Control W, I can use Alt F4. It's simply gonna close that specific document, but as you get down to the last program level file, this is where Control W or Control F4 is going to close out of that file but still leave the application itself open. And Alt F4 is gonna close out of Excel all the way. You can see that I have to reopen Excel. If I wanna open it, Alt F4 is closing the actual application itself. 
Next, let's look at using Alt F4 to launch the Windows Shutdown dialog box. And again, the trick to making this work is we do need to be active on our desktop, which we can quickly do no matter how many programs we have open using Windows plus D. So Windows plus D is simply the Windows key and the D key on your keyboard, which is gonna minimize any open or active windows, which will take us directly to our desktop, which I also like to call the desktop drill. So let's take a look. Here on my screen, I have a number of different PowerPoint files open. If I want to use Alt F4 to shut down my computer, I need to first activate my desktop. I can hit Windows D to minimize all of my open windows so I'm active here on the desktop. And then Alt F4 will launch the shut down Windows dialog box. And this works just as well in Windows 11 as it does in Windows 10. You can then use your arrow keys if you want on your keyboard. You can click to open this to switch users, sign off, sleep, shut down, restart, etc. The key point here is though, if I come back and open one of these PowerPoint documents, if I hit Alt F4 here, it's gonna again try to close the program. So if you have a lot of windows open and you want to quickly shut down your computer, simply hit Windows D, will take you directly to your desktop, what I call the desktop drill, and then Alt F4 will start the shut down windows dialog box. So what does Alt F4 do? Alt F4 is our closed program or closed application shortcut. Alt F4 is different than Control W and Control F4, which are just closing your documents. And we can also use Alt F4 to launch the shut down Windows dialog box, both in Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you're new to our channel and wanna to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets and free courses, check out the links directly below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts of Old Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.